Hey, we're back and have with us now Ed, uh, Bruce Nicklin. He brought Ed Knight with you. I was about to put the two names together there. <laughs> <laughs> but Bruce, welcome back to the show. Ed, nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for coming on with Thank us. Thank you. It's and, a pleasure uh, to be here. Yeah, uh, from uh, the Clayton Downtown Development. Yeah, Ed's our chairman, board yeah. chairman, and unfortunately yeah. coming off in, uh, in a couple of months. Yeah, I've been, doing it, uh, I've been doing it for eight years, so um, term limits mm -hmm. are going to get the best of me. So. Okay. Uh, but I have to be off a year, and then uh, I can come back. I'll we'll snag him back. Up. Yeah. But there's a lot of committees and, and things that uh, I'm probably still going to be involved in. So. Yeah. You, mean, totally you mentioned asked. that you're retired. Yes. Yeah, so what, tell us about your, what you did before you retired. Um, telecommunications. Uh, the last thing we did was we uh, uh, had some software that allowed companies to send their facsimile over the Internet. Of course, you can't, couldn't do it in the U.S. because it was, uh, there's competition here, but in countries like China, Japan, Thailand, uh, the government's on the phone companies, and so there was no competition. So they're always looking for ways to reduce their, their telephone costs. And so on a telephone bill, you cannot distinguish between fax and voice. Mm -hmm. So we, that's how we, uh, we first got a contract with Hyatt International, and we started in Singapore, and then uh, I went into Hong Kong and Japan, Tokyo, and, and so, did, you get the, did you get the travel to these places? I did, yes. Yeah. Yes, been to Bali a couple of times. That's yeah. good. Yeah, well, regional managers for hotels, they don't want to live in Jakarta, so they live in Bali. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to go where they are. Yeah. 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 Now, Bruce, you, got a, you mentioned a concert coming up, the last one this week. Uh, yep, yeah, Thursday night. We'll have the Embers uh, close out our uh, 2010 Clayton Town Square concert series. And um, looking forward to perfect weather and a perfect close of the series oh, yeah. and um, uh, like I say with the embers and so that will be from 7 to 9 o'clock on Thursday and then uh, Friday night actually uh, kind of begins sort of the festivities for the Harvest Festival that the uh, Clayton Chamber of Commerce puts on downtown and uh, um, they're going to have a gospel event at the same place town square and then uh, on Friday night and then uh, Saturday close down Main Street and have uh, music uh, at Town Square all day. There's going to be a eastern stage down past uh, uh, toward the eastern end of downtown mm -hmm. and uh, um, vendors and car shows and all sorts of uh, the usual uh, activities. That are the things that you normally that. see in a, a downtown festival. Exactly, right? yeah. Good so deal. it's going to be a great time and a lot of changes this year and they're going to have the rides. The rides will start actually Wednesday night um, in the 300 block of uh, Main Street behind uh, some of the buildings. And okay. This is all while construction is going on in our uh, town lot project, which uh, some new just started putting up some lights. I was going to uh, ask you about that. That was yeah. one of my questions to ask you. Yeah. How's, that, how's that going? Yeah. It so. seems to be going along pretty well. So uh, I think it's all, everything seems to be on track. So uh, looking forward to a completion at the end of October on that. Yeah. Who's your entertainment you have coming in for the, on the festival? You got some groups coming in for that? I or? think it's, uh, it is, and I, I can't remember all the, the groups. Actually, I'll be performing oh, okay. uh, Saturday morning at 10, 1030, I think it is. And uh, there's some other groups. Uh, there's a jazz group, Paul Bomar. Uh, trios playing, I think, and uh, that morning. And uh, Central Park Band is going to play Saturday night, mm -hmm. and uh, so they'll be there Saturday night. And uh, um, just a variety of local bands and musicians and performances uh, throughout the day. Mm -hmm. so, no good deal. Uh, now I believe you had a you had one of your concerts that was canceled. Was that oh boy, yeah. I, we've taken a vow, uh, absolute vow, ironclad now, that uh, we will not ever reschedule or cancel another event. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or a concert like that. It's just it, it it triples and quadruples the work and causes a lot of confusion. So mm -hmm. uh, I think if it's it, the concert's now officially rain or shine, mm -hmm. um, we're going to put them on whether. Do whatever we can. Well, that they need to do it. That's right. It, yeah. We'll go for it. So yeah. Yeah. it always seems to work out whenever we cancel the event. It doesn't rain. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I've seen that happen before too. Because yeah. it looks like it's you know ninety percent chance of rain. Right. The clouds overhead yeah. and they just kind of like yeah. park they around the, yeah. Yeah. the event. Magic. Yeah. But if you had it, it would rain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like Murphy's Law <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> and what would you say for somebody that wants to get involved uh, as you are? Like you said, you're retired, but you've been involved with this, obviously. Uh, what would you recommend to people? Uh, as far as they want to be involved with an organization like this for developing downtown? Well, you know, um, when I first moved here, uh, it, uh, uh, I, I, you know, being retired, uh, and I found out I didn't like being retired. I, I wanted to be involved, and, and I'm kind of a people person. And uh, so uh, it was it, from a perspective, um, I, I think you just have to jump in and, and find a committee or, or an organization that you want to get involved with. Uh, yeah. You know, if you to spend your time, and spend your that. time and do it, and yeah. um, so it actually keeps me quite busy. Good, uh, gentlemen, thank you for coming in today. Thank Good you to see you again. Us. Our pleasure.